AutoCAD Electrical requires you to utilize your mouse effectively as you move around the screen, select your commands, and obviously draw anything in your AutoCAD Electrical drawings. Now, as you move the mouse around, you can see that your crosshair in the drawing area obviously moves around with it and make sure that you navigate the drawing area effectively. When you come across into the project manager, though, you'll see it converts to a pointer and allows you to select perhaps a separate drawing, like so, or a separate project or commands on the project manager. It also allows you to select drawings on the tabs here as well. So if I hover over Demo 01 and then move my mouse, I can look at Model or Layout, for example, like so. If I move over an icon up here in a ribbon panel, I can then click on that icon and execute that command as well. So there's all these different ways of selecting and clicking using the left hand mouse button. However, there's a lot of other tools available on your mouse. If you're in the drawing area, for example, and you roll upwards on the wheel on the mouse, it will zoom you in. If you roll backwards on the wheel, it will zoom you out. A neat trick there is to get the crosshair over the area that you want to zoom into, and it will use that as the center of the zoom. So you can see there I'm zooming in on those junction boxes there and I'm centralizing on the object I want to see and then rolling upwards on the wheel to zoom in and then rolling backwards on the wheel to zoom out. Now, if I do something really silly, like zoom in real tight like that and I don't know where I am, another thing I can do with the wheel on the mouse is I can double click on the wheel and that will automatically do a zoom extents and zoom me to the extents of the visible objects on the drawing. That's a really neat tool. It's really useful if you get lost on a complex drawing. Now, another thing you can do is hold down the mouse wheel and you'll see this little hand symbol appear that allows you to pan around the drawing. So if you zoom in real tight on something and then hold down the wheel and move the mouse, you can obviously navigate the drawing at a much closer magnification like that and you can see what's going on. Double click on the wheel to zoom out again to zoom extents. Now you've got other tools available as well. If I right click anywhere in the drawing area, that will bring up the context sensitive shortcut menu. This is the default shortcut menu. I haven't got any commands selected right now. And you can see I've got repeat, recent input there. I've got the clipboard with cut, copy and paste. I've also got the isolate command that we'll cover later. I can undo my pan and my zoom. But I've also got pan and zoom available and steering wheels available to navigate in AutoCAD Electrical. So I could go to pan there and I'm now in pan like so, but I'm now fixed in pan mode. It's fixed. So I have to right click again and then exit pan and that takes me back to my free flowing crosshair like so. So there's all these tools available on the mouse that allow you to navigate effectively. You can right click over anything. If I right click there over an icon, you can see that I can add it to the quick access toolbar, show the tabs for that, show the panels for that, and so on. So there's all these tools available when you right click or left click or use the wheel on your mouse. My suggestion is, is if you don't use your mouse enough, practice doing so. There's a lot of tools there that will really speed you up make you a lot more productive and a lot more effective when you're using AutoCAD Electrical.